Hi there. I was at the uh, Harwell uh, Radio and Electronics Rally uh, in February, and um, I go there every year. Uh, I think I don't think I went there before I was a member of the club, um, but I've been there the last two or three years. Um, and the weather was absolutely rubbish. Um, I think they had about half of the sort of usual sort of uh, attendant attendees. Most of the traders were there. Um, and normally I'd be wandering around looking for radios, but um, there wasn't really anything there that sort of really sort of took my eye. There, there, there was some stuff there, but nothing really that uh, got me very excited. But um, anyway, I was talking to a guy who was selling some... Uh, well, actually, what this guy was selling was some older versions of the WRTH, which I've already spoken about, and uh, I've done one review, and I've still got some reviews left to do. But the same guy was also selling uh, old vintage copies of Practical Wireless and um, I had a chat with him and uh, this trader actually happened to be a member of our club and um, he sort of said basically, you know, I can't remember, they're like 10p each or something, but he said we've got loads so if you just tell me which years you're interested in, you can just have them and make a sort of donation. So um, uh, I sort of said to him, well, if you've got any from the 1960s and 1970s, I'm, as you kind of know, I'm sort of slightly obsessed with the 1970s because I sort of don't really remember it very well. I was just a young kid. Um, anyway, so uh, then I went to um, a meeting, a club meeting, and he turned up with a box with about 150 copies in. So, uh, and here they all are. So the oldest, I think, there's, um, I think is from 1962. So... There you go, that's what Practical Wireless looked like in 1962. Um, smaller format. Um, I just find these things interesting because the, Practical Wireless has always been sort of quite heavy on the, uh, obviously, um, design of circuits, etc. because it's all about being practical. And back in those days, it more, much more so now than now, people used to build their stuff, so there's schematics everywhere. Um, but there's also advertisements that uh, give you a sort of good insight back into what the hobby was like. Well, ham radio at least. Um, well, actually, not just ham radio. I think back in the day, it wasn't just about ham radio. Um, so there you go. So I ended up with uh, copies from 1962, I think, to the, the, the latest in 1978, which is this one here. Um, I mean, I was, I was about to say a bit more familiar, but... Um, not really. Uh, there's, a, yeah, there's an interesting ad for some um, digital watches from Casio. Uh, electronic calculator and some digital watches. In fact, I think somewhere around here, there's um, an advert for Sinclair programmable calculator. Um, okay, well, there's an advert. There's a Sinclair uh, advert for a personal digital multimeter. Twenty nine ninety five. So these are the sort of things that I find really interesting. Um, the old ads that sort of take you back, uh, back in the day when um, before I could even afford a radio. You know, let alone think about. Couldn't hardly afford to buy a magazine, to be honest with you. So um, I'm going to have many hours looking through these, and if I find anything really interesting in them, um, I'll, I'll obviously do a do a video. But um, uh, now all I've got to do is actually literally find somewhere to put them so uh so there you go practical wireless from sort of 62 to 78 uh and if any of you have you know have got articles that you know of from a particular from a particular year or uh or issue i can check i don't have every issue from every year i've got a lot of them so uh if there's any article that you that you that you, that you know of that you want a copy of um between between the actually yeah between those dates then uh, let me know and I'll have a look but uh, so there you go I, I, in the end he turned up with I mean I was expecting him to turn up with maybe half a dozen a dozen and he turned up with a box so um, I gave him a few quid and uh, and that was that so uh, my only problem now is actually where to put them but uh, I'll, I'll I'll figure that out so there you go practical wireless 62 to 78 uh, another trip down memory lane thanks for watching